Uh, so folks, for you guys watching on YouTube, we're playing Divinity Original Sin 2. I loved the first game. Do check out my review if you haven't seen it. I'll leave a link down in the description. But this is completely new to me. I don't know the story. Some mechanics have changed. So we're going to jump right in and start us off in a single player game. Classic. Classic. Because I want to just explore this at the rate it's supposed to be explored, I think. These <laughs> are some awful styles. Oh, yes. That's going to be the worst of the worst. I think, hang on, with that style, we need uh, we need to rename this this guy. I think he's definitely an ace. He's definitely an ace with a with a hairstyle like that. Uh, color, color hair, color. There we go. We go. Lum Actually, lumberjack's quite fitting, as I kind of used to be one. Uh, we can go to the preset. So this is strength and constitution. I think I'm going to go for the two-handed charging warrior. Um, the arm looks a bit bulkier than uh, in the first game, as I recall. But we can see if we can edit this. Strength. What's finesse for? Is that for... I think it's a stat that I don't need to worry about. Does it tell me? Spending points on combat abilities generally increases the damage you do and the skills schools you invest in. Okay, understood. Is it going to give me... A... Right, okay. A damage with finesse based weapons. Okay, I thought that might really be. This is going to be strength based attacks. Big heavy stuff from constitution. Memory. Three extra slots from memory. I'm going to go with this. I don't mind. I think I'm going to play a. Definitely a fighter of some sort. I don't know whether to go sword and board or big two hander. Your original rando preset custom character looked like a Costco Boris Johnson. <laughs> Uh, let's go with that then. That's that's fine. Stats are suitable, I think. Abilities. Now then, hang on, hang on. Talents. Let's let's uh, let's we we know this. Let's go back to talents because is there one in here called Pet Pal? There is. Okay. We need that from the start of the game. Opportunist. Tax of opportunity though. Do I only get one to start with? Well, we're taking that. We'll we'll get we'll pick that up later. We're having Pet Pal, as prior experience from the first game tells me. It might not be as important in this, I don't know. But we're taking Pet Pal. We're going to talk to animals. You can retrain stuff later? Ah, cool. Cheers. Uh, is there a confirm button there anywhere? Let's go back to preset then. Edit this. Warfare. Increases all physical damage you deal. That's fine. Huntsman, Scoundrel. Pyrokinetic. I'm hoping I'm going to meet some people who can do the magic and stuff as to, to join into the party. We'll go two-handed is good. Um, bartering? Do I care about bartering? Traders' items become cheaper and your items become more expensive. Can I actually take those out? Yeah, I can. I think I get one anyway from being thrifty. Where is that a thing? Is that just a human trait, maybe? Persuasion is always good. And defenses are good as well. We've got retribution. Uh, reflects received damage to your attacker. Leadership grants dodging and resistance bonuses to all allies. Well, that's quite nice. Perseverance. Restores magic armor after you cover from frozen or stunned. Hmm. Don't seem to be as many uh, skills in the weapons and defenses as I remember from the first game. Maybe I'm just limited to what I can actually choose. I think Persuasion. I'm going to take one in Persuasion because experience tells me that's a good thing to have in games. Uh, let's see if we can edit the skills. Can we choose any from the Warfare ability? I don't currently have a shield. So a Crippling Boat Blow. Oh, okay, that's good. Let's, let's, let's go with that. Start the game. Let's jump in. We've been here long enough, I think. You won't be able to use Pet Pal from the get-go? Okay. Are you sure you're finished with character creation? Ace Hero. We are good. Oh, hang on. I forgot to look at tags. Tags determine what options are available to you in dialogue and how the world reacts to your party members. Custom characters have race, gender, and background tags. Ah, okay. Interesting. Your origins. A barbarian. Um, an outlaw. A soldier. 
I'm a, I'm playing a knightly character. No, I'm going to go barbarian. I like that. Wait, can I can I have them all? No, I was going to say a barbarian jester. Uh, let's go for a barbarian soldier then. If that's what we can have. That kind of fits in with the character. An instrument. Your origin instrument. It'll take the lead in the music dur during fights. And we'll highlight. Oh, okay. Do we know what these sound like? An oud, tambour, a cello. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick with this. Right, now we're going to start the game. Off we go. Hey, Alkson, how are you? Are you still playing through the first DOS? I basically built Conan the Barbarian with a flute. Or whatever that thing was, a, a recorder. It all happened like I knew it would. Oh, that accent. A single drop of source magic. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared. And sent to Fort Joy. Is that the Red Prince? I'd come here to kill God Woken. But instead, I became part of their story. Soundtrack sounds good to me so far. I think I like the music from the first one. I love the tavern music. Part of me is wishing I'd selected one of the... Uh, core characters for this now but anyway there's always time to play through again oh so, i hate my portrait still a bit groggy are we don't worry the sedative will wear off soon enough easy now no need to hurry get your bearings and report to me upstairs well hang on that is, i'm not in a bed i'm proper strapped down who is that madness to see one. What is that around my neck? So it, it wasn't a dream after all. A magical collar. I would guess. Right, how do we how do we work this? Let's see if I can remember. The camera stopped following what it did because I told it to. I always like having control of my things. Let's do quick save. Yeah, it's on. F5. Good. Let's loot the place. Oh. Oh. Uh, do we still get alt? Can we press alt to highlight? Yeah, we can. Alt highlights things. Excellent. Do we need a bucket? Probably not. That's locked. Can I attack it? <laughs> That's going to take a while. <laughs> no, then, is the answer. Oh, it's so nice. I mean, it's been months since I played uh, Divinity 1. But it just feels, it feels quite familiar coming back to this. Also, it looks awesome. Uh, move objects by clicking and dragging them. I might, no, I'll leave the tutorials on for now just to get me back into things. Oh, I'm glad it actually told me that. Otherwise, I might not have thought to, to, uh, to oh, nice. No, nope, hang on, wrong button. There we go. I might not have thought to try moving that. A mug of beer. Excellent. What have I got? I have, these are my specials. Does that use action points? Oh, I see, I see. There's a good green thing is the number of action points it uses. Cool, we'll get used to that. A firestorm grenade. An animal's die. Afraid to or food. Can I talk? Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. <laughs> and you said I wouldn't be able to use Pet Pal straight away. <laughs> Fresh meat. <laughs> nice. Clump. Banded like a chicken's leg too. You guys hear it okay, by the way? I thought the speech was a little quiet, but I can maybe turn it up if need be. 
Poke the sheep's ample belly with your toe. Remark that she's got more meat on her than you. That'd be a good one. That may be so, but look at the flies. Ban wisdom. Flies know when a creature will die. And it's around your head they're buzzing, not mine. Well, I beg to differ, but... With two shakes of her stumpy tail, the sheep turns away from you to peruse her hay-filled manger. Well, that was uh, good. Should I kill the sheep? Oh, eggs. Yep, take it. I've got a, the, the button on the bottom to take to, to close it down is... I'm going to get caught out by that. If you see me click this thinking I've looted it, let me know. I've got to get used to clicking the thing at the top here. I can see me messing that up for a bit. What's that in the distance there? A key! It looks old and rusty. It may have just one use left in it. It was... Uh, did it say a cargo door key? Hang on. Was that the... That's a door. Is it this one? Are we supposed to go through there? That's locked. Actually, I don't think it matters, does it? Apart from the fact that there might be something in there to steal. Let's see if I can open it with that one. I probably it's the wrong one, but... You couldn't use Pet Pal because of the source blocking collar? Is it a source skill, Pet Pal? No, it won't open that one. Okay. Wishful thinking. <laughs> I've broken the game already, Pan. That's clearly it. What can we... Oh, we can steal stuff off here. No, we can't. There's nothing there. This is this is the game that takes me forever to play because there's so much wonderful stealable stuff everywhere and everything has a value including that apple and that ham and that bread and what the hell is, oh that's bread as well so what was the first thing a letter can we not read that uh read just read i might not need to pick it up Orders from the guard steward. It's come to my intention, again, that several of you are bypassing the cargo hold security measures by sliding boxes onto the pressure plates. This will not do. Right. Okay. The pressure plates. There's nothing to do with this, is it? Because that's just a rug. Obviously, that's a clue on how to get out of here. No, I think it's talking about these things. I'm trying to work out how I can open this. I feel like I should be able to get in there and steal everything, but it won't let me yet. Right, okay, let's let's figure this out. So this is a pressure plate. I'm just going to open the barrel. I'm going to guess. Yep. We have a pocket knife. Excellent. To equip an item, open your inventory and drag it to the slot. What's... Oh, are these slots, right. Um, right, mouse button and objects can identify what you can do. Them. Understood. So if I right-click on that, I can equip it straight in and that is a source collar set source muted unbreakable i guess we have to find a way of smashing that then and sorting that out i think you should restart your character already let's just move that to there click click oh i i like these games a little bit of puzzle element to it oh like, granted that told me exactly what to do Later on, it won't so much. Oily surface. Yeah, we know about oily surfaces. Big barrel of gunpowder. That's oil, actually. Can I pick that up? Come here. Well, oh, yes, I can. Pick it up and add to it. I'm just going to pick it up. Yes. <laughs> you never know when a massive barrel of flammable oil will come in handy. Can I uh, get into this side? Uh, oh, lockpicks. Okay. Can I try and pick the lock? I, I don't have any skill in this, so this might not work. But it did. So, before I go down there, I'll go and talk to this dude down here. The Magister Guard snorts and sniffles as he sleeps. You're almost impressed that one man can make such a phlegmy racket. Shh. Oh, hang on. No, that was the... Right boop the guard's nose. It was him. He was asking me to come and talk to him. 
not the guard. Hey, hey, get me out of this cage and I'll make it worth your while. You in? I am carefully. Why is he in this cage in the first place? Your guess is as good as mine. Someone screamed loud as a banshee. After that, pure pandemonium. They never even told me what I was accused of. Just dragged me down here. Yeah, what is exactly in it for me? Set me free, and I'll set you free. A fair trade, I should think. Do we get to... That's my inventory. Um, before you could trade with these characters, maybe we don't have the option yet because he's behind bars. I don't know. Anyway, yes, agree to help. A gentleman among jesters you are. Give that lever a pull, and I guarantee... Right, we've got that. Before you can even touch the lever, you hear a sniff and snort behind you as the snoring magister mumbles himself awake. One bloodshot eye opens, and then another. Is my shift over? Are you here to relieve me? Yes, because I look exactly like a guard. Wait, you're no magister. You're a sorcerer. What are you doing here, filthy scrounger? Choose your words carefully. My fists ache to meet a new face. Okay. <laughs> Tell the guard I'm itching for a fight and he's my mark. Finesse persuasion. Constitution persuasion. Tell him you heard yelling. He needs to get up there. Or wits persuasion. Uh, it doesn't tell me what my chances of success on these are, does it? Interesting. Oh, you can trade between characters later on. Cool. I'm going to go with constitution persuasion because I have higher constitution. I'm going to try that. What's that one do? Oh, we can trade already. So, is there anything I want from him? A frying pan. Leather scraps. A cheese. Or should I just sell him something? Let's sell him some, a log and some wood chips and I'll buy his cheese. And we put the offer all wares. Offer gold to balance the trade. I bought a cheese. Excellent. So his attitude towards me has increased. Accept. Understood. Close. Uh, let's try the constitution persuasion now. Tell him you heard yelling from above. He needs to get up there. Success. Damn. If it's not one thing, it's another. And no way I can trust those fools to deal with any nonsense on their own. Can't leave the prisoner alone, though. He's been nothing but trouble, I hear. I'll just maybe move the webcam out the way. So the, whoops, not with that, I won't. Just so you lot can see the uh, things. Uh, if it looks like that's blocking something, some other stats when we get into combat or anything, let me know and we'll shift it again. Uh, can't leave the prisoner alone. Ignore the guard, lunge for the lever and yank it downwards. Strength persuasion, flex your arms. You'll keep an eye on the prisoner, he would dare cross me. Yeah, go for strength persuasion and with a flex. That's all I needed to hear. Just don't let that cage rascal fool you. You can't trust him as far as you can throw him. Too late, but I dare say I could throw him a long way. I'm going to change this character's hairstyle. It looks awful in this. Let's trigger this now. Before the guard's even out of sight. <laughs> okay. I guess... Oh, he doesn't have a sword. Oh. Sugar. Alright. This maybe wasn't the most wisest of things. Um, what can I do? I can shank him with a knife. A battle stomp. Smash your opponent to the ground, knocking non-allied characters down in front of you. Yep, that sounds good. Oh, area of effect. Let's do this. Bang. He's down. And then, where's my action points? Oh, here? So I've got two. So I can move. I can hit him. Or I can try and... Oh, I'll just hit him. Stomp on him. The prisoner's buoyant voice darkens as his eyes rest on yours. We have set off down a very dark path from the beginning of the game here. <laughs> ah, freedom. <coughs> Tastes better than wine. I'm nothing if not a man of my word. And I did give my word I'd set you free, lad. 
Say your prayers while you've breath to speak. He does have a source collar on. Okay, so he's now he's going to attack me. It's a fight. And we're on fire. What have we got? A sucker punch that deals semi physical damage and knocks down the target. Resisted by physical armor. Where I can tell, we don't have any physical armor on. And the options, a battering ram. I remember that from the first game. Uh, these are all a crippling blow. Let's try... This is a one-action thing. Oh, that's nice then. Let's hit him with this. Choose target. Is that how it works? Nice. He is down. And then... Battle Stomp. Clears non set knockdown. We don't need to do that then. And a crippling blow. Four to six damage and crippled. Um, requires one... Oh, that's a skill it requires. Okay, I think I've got this. Is it just like a general attack? Can I hit him again? Do we get to save this? Does that encourage myself? Let's try it. Let's, let's find out. Does that actually encourage myself? No, I don't think so. It did say it did allies, so that's fine. Unless I'm supposed to then cast it. Encourage. It does encourage myself. Right, that's that's good to know for one pointer. We've got nothing else to spend. This is uh, this is looking good and fun so far. So I think I'm winning. I need to knock him down again. Not a problem. Have a battle stomp. Stay down. And we should. Oh, we can hit him twice this time. Missed. How do you miss someone who's on the floor? That is terrible. He gets up. And we'll cripple him. Smack. Right, what so... What would he have to gain by killing me? I need to keep my guard up. Yes, unfortunately, our guard is on the floor, but the guard did speak the truth. Still, we can blame it all on this guy, who somehow managed to <laughs> do that leave all by himself from the other side of the bars. We have a laboratory key. Stained shirt. Some scraps. Oh, I thought it was a sausage. Oh, no, this is the... Um, this is the guard, isn't it? I just looted. 